to help you today. Yes. I spoke to you when you were in Smithfield a couple months ago in regards mm -hmm. to a friend who um, was diagnosed. Well, he thought he had a problem with his thyroid, but as it turned out, it's um, um, Hodgkin's lymphoma, lymphoma. And I wanted to see if you can just give a little background on that and what he'll be able to do to correct that. He's uh, 200 pounds. Okay. Um, <clears throat> Hodgkin's lymphoma is kind of an interesting disease in that um, there's many confusing thoughts on it. Uh, some people uh, believe that it's actually related to the same virus that uh, causes infectious mononucleosis, okay? And, and so they look at it in that fashion. <laughs> some people look at it as a lymphoma cancer, which can be caused by um, outside forces, things like heterocyclic amines, trans fatty acids, uh, irritating the bone marrow and also irritating lymphatic tissue, anything from lymph nodes to tonsils to appendix and so on. And, uh, and so these are the two main areas um, of thought. Well, in my experience, uh, if you do the traditional treatment with, with uh, radiation, surgery, chemotherapy, you're not going to be happy with the results. Uh, you're not going to get maximum benefit. If you choose to go that route, certainly uh, you want to get your OREC points, your antioxidant points above 100,000, support your immune system, and defend yourself against all uh, enemies, foreign and domestic, meaning things you can't control and things you can't control. So if you choose to go with the chemotherapy, radiation, and surgery, you certainly want to add some protection and support for your immune system. Uh, to protect against also the treatment as well as the disease. Um, of all the lymph lymphatic cancers, Hodgkin's disease is one that you can survive the longest with. So you could live to a ripe old age on occasion uh, if you do all the right things. It's not nearly the killer as some of the other lymphomas are. It tends to be a young person's disease. Uh, people in their teens all the way up into their mid-30s uh, would commonly get uh, Hodgkin's disease. And so that's kind of a thumbnail sketch of this disease. Um, the, the, again, the treatment, you've got to change your diet. You've got to stop the ongoing damage, which means no, you know, the typical, none of the bad stuff, no fried foods, no processed meats with nitrates and nitrites, no oils, uh, meaning no margins, mayonnaise, salad dressing, cooking oils. If, if you eat canned fish, you've got to be packed in water, mustard, tomato sauce, not oil. I would give up gluten, no wheat, barley, rye, or oats. Get rid of everything that puts pressure on your immune system. And then... Uh, how much does this person weigh? You said 200 pounds. I would have them take um, two of the healthy start packs, get that basic platform of the 90 essential nutrients appropriate for body weight. That will allow them to have one ounce of the Osteo FX Plus at breakfast and dinner, two scoops of the Beyond Tain Tangerine Nutri Crystals at breakfast and dinner, three of the EFA Pluses at breakfast and dinner. All that would be accomplished by the two healthy start packs. That's, again, to support the immune system and give your body what it needs just to function, uh, basic bodily uh, needs. Um, now, I would also throw in nine selenium a day for a 200-pound guy. Of our selenium, our ultimate selenium, I'd give him three for breakfast, three for lunch, three for dinner. Uh, that'll require three bottles a month of the ultimate selenium. And this, again, is to support the immune system. It also um, indirectly supports the immune system as well as directly by recycling glutathione, which is one of the most potent antioxidants produced by the body. One of your most important potent defenders is gluten, uh, excuse me, glutathione. And um, normally, if your glutathione attacks a cancer cell or a bacteria or virus or free radical, it will um, be gone. But with selenium present, it recycles it many, many times and allows you to maximize your, your uh, benefit. So at any rate, uh, nine selenium a day, three bottles a month. And then I would give them what we call Z radical. Z radical, again, is a support for the immune system. And actually, um, it, it's sort of supports and stimulates uh, the production of and the function of stem cells where you want to, again, get your lymphatic system going in the right direction. So a 200-pound guy, I'd have him take four ounces a day of that Z radical. It is actually, uh, it comes in quart bottles. that will require four quarts a month. And then uh, give me a call every couple of weeks or every month or so and, you know, give me a progress report on this guy and we'll work through this with you.